Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabalani's Playhouse. I'm Lani and I'm Jabu and we're continuing to build the Mega Bloks SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Krab attack. It's been fun so far. Sure has Jabu, although it's been a little bit frustrating because we had to open up all the packets of pieces as the boys and girls can see behind, right? That's right. And uh, there's lots of small little pieces so there's a lot of fishing around looking for them, isn't there? There sure is, but it's coming along. Shall we carry on? Yeah, let's get going. Come on, mummies and daddies. So we brought the characters back in, but we'll put them off to the side so that we can continue to work on things. There, they're out of view at the moment. Plankton's on the top. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Start to build what looks like the crusty crab from our booklet here, as you can see. Krusty Krab attack. We were on page where well, I think we had finished 14. That's where we were finished, right? Yeah, I think so, Jabu. That looks about right. Okay. Now we're going to carry on with 15 and 16. Let's get to it, mommies and daddies. Okay, so we need some big bricks with four studs on them. They look like they go over here, one over here, like so. You can see, it doesn't quite fit on there, right? So, leave some space, and the same on this side here. Excellent. Then we need a three-piece, and another three-piece. Here it is. This one goes here like that. And then the other one on the other side. That's right, Jabu makes it easier, right? It sure does, Lani. Need some elbow pieces. The elbow pieces are going to go on this over here. Here's the other elbow piece. It goes over here. Whoops, like that. Okay, looking good so far, isn't it, Lani? Sure is, Jabu. Okay, that was instruction 16. Carry on with 17 and 18. And page 11, hey? That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, that portion was. So we take this piece. And then we take two black pieces with four on them. And we have to leave three spots. Count one, two, three. Put these here. Underneath like that. And take the other one, just put it next to it. And it'll automatically leave three spots. One, two, three. And build the bridge over across the top here, hey? Excellent. That looks good, hey? Looks really good. Great job, Jabu. Thanks, Lani. Then we take some more bricks and we build them up. On top of this one. Another one on top here. There we go. Wow. Looking good, Jabu. Mums and Daddy's doing a great job. Yeah, they are. Now we need some, some of these type shape pieces that are sloped. So there's the one, here's two. Put one here, and put another one here. You can see, there we go, what that looks like. And there's some space at the back where we put elbow pieces, like these, right? That's right, Jabu. There we go. Excellent. 
And that was 18, hey? Eh? Good job, mommies and daddies. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see what else is on page 19. Whoops, page 12. Instruction 19. <laughs> That's right, Jabu. And instruction 20 on page 12. Carry on. Maybe a little easier now because there's smaller pieces. We need a couple of these four studded square pieces, like so. And then two of the three flat studded pieces, right? Okay, we've got the, four two the, the two four square and the three studded flat pieces. We've got two of those. And we continue to build on up, right? These ones go on that side. The square pieces. That side there. And then these three pieces go over here, like so. Oopsies. That's what we've got to be careful about, right? Not breaking things. We can work harder for ourselves. If there's one thing I can say, Lani, what's that, Jabu? I would say that Lego pieces fit a little bit better. They're a little easier to put on. Is that right? Yeah. They seem to clip it better. These ones sometimes need a little bit more effort than you would think, right? I see, Jabu. Yeah. It's okay, though. It's just an observation. And then we need these three of these pieces, which have six studs on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three of those. One, two, three. And we build those up on top here, like so. Whoops. Long, isn't it, Lani? Sure is, Jabu. Slowly but surely. Ah, that's right. A bit of patience will get us there, hey? That's right. And that's us at instruction 20. Following on page 13, instruction 21, and instruction 22. Starting to really take shape now and look like Krusty Krab, doesn't it, hey? It sure does. We need four of these triangular pieces, four studs there. Got the four. And then we need two of the two studded rectangular pieces. There's one, and there's two. Okay, put one there, and then a two-piece here, and then another four-piece, and another four-piece, and then a two-piece over there, and a four-piece right here. There we go. Coming along, isn't it? Sure as Jabo is looking great. Mommy and Daddy are doing a great job. Then we need another three. Four piece rectangulars, there's one, two, three. And we also need two square pieces with four studs on them. One and two. And we're building up some more. So we put a, a four a square up there and a square over here. 
and then the four rectangular pieces in between. And you see, we just leave a space in between on either side. The daddy got ahead of himself there, didn't he? Sure did, Jabu. But you notice how they are interlocking. They're sort of crossover and they, they're sort of going across each each piece so that it doesn't so they're not on the same seam. That way it creates more stability, right? I see, Jabu, that makes sense, hey? It sure does. Okay, and there we go. And on page 13, instruction 22. Now to 23. Aha! More pieces. 24. More pieces. We're building it up. Sure, Jabu, doing a great job. Need one of these pieces with a hole in it, a brown piece. Okay, so we need one brown piece which is hollow and one piece which is a male piece, has the tube on it and a white piece that has a tube on it and a white piece that is hollow and then we need two of the square brown pieces and two of these slope pieces. Excellent Jabu! And then we join The white and the brown, and the white and the brown. Good job. Thanks, Dan. And this one goes up here, matching. This one will go up here, matching. You can still open, see? Excellent. That's very clever. And thank you, Lani. And then this one will go here. And we can have that piece go down here. Starting to take shape, isn't it? Sure is, Jabu. It looks great. There we go. Mm -hmm. Coming along nicely. Ooh, what was that? Now instruction 24. We need one of these, which is eight pieces, eight studs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And we need another one that has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, Jabu. You're a good counter. Why, thank you, Lani. And we need just a flat four studded square and two two studded squares, one like that. And another one, and two of these little triangle pieces. Okay, we have two of these little triangular pieces. Like so. Triangle pieces go on the very end of the back there, like so. sloping away from us. I see, Jabu. Yeah. And then these ones go up here. Up here, see, slowly building it up, hey? Like so. Then this one goes right next to it here. And there's a square one in the middle. And a large rectangular fills it up there. There we go. Looking good, hey? Looking great, Jabu. So that was 24. We'll go to 25. 26. 
Sure it's taking a long time to build, Jabu. I know it is, Lani, but it's fun. It'll be all worth it. Okay, we need two of the small flat rectangular ones. Two of these rectangular two studded pieces and four of these ones, flat four stud pieces. One goes on top of the other, one goes on top of the other. And then one goes over here and a flat piece on top. One goes on top here. See, sometimes these pieces don't want to join flatly. You have to put a lot of pressure on them. Okay. And now, stick them. Like so. And like so. There we go. And on 26, we take these two sloped pieces, and the one goes over here, like that. The other one goes on the side. Looking good, Jabu? I know, looking really good, hey? There's 26. There's 27. 28. Now I'm not sure which side to put in because the side is flat, the side is indented, but I'm going to do it the same as we have done before which means that we're going to whoops, continue to put the smooth side facing inwards as we have done so far, just for the, make it the same, right? Sounds good, Jebo, I think that's a good idea. We need two, six pieces. Two thin rectangles with six studs on them, so we can secure it along here. So that the window is more secure, it won't come off, that makes it more stable, right? Sure does, Jabu! Okay, looking good, I think that's the front entrance, hey? Now, if we've put the, the windows in the wrong way, it's going to be a bit, bit of a bother. We'll have to change them all around, and that could be some work, hey? Sure, good, Jabu. Okay, and there's 29. So we've finished with 28 now. And there's 29. We pull in lots of other things. So we'll start that on the next one, hey? Sounds good, Jabu. There you have it, boys and girls. So far, it's come along nicely. We're starting to build the Krusty Krab. Well, we're more than started. We're probably almost close to finished, hey? That's right, Jabu, I think we are. Well, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hope the boys and girls are having fun with watching us and enjoy SpongeBob on TV or with their toys that they have of him. I know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see when it's finished and to launch the, um, the burger launcher. Yeah, that'll be fun, hey? Okay, boys and girls, come back tomorrow and we'll continue to build the SpongeBob Krusty Krab attack, hey? Yay, sounds good by Mega Blocks, right? That's right. Until then, remember to eat your veggies, brush your teeth. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.